Snapping hip is a click in the hip when the patient moves the hip. It may or may not be painful. It can occur due to three types of conditions, internal, external, or intraarticular. Internal, iliopsoas tendon is snap. The snapping of the iliopsoas tendon occur over the iliopectineal eminence. The iliopsoas tendon will snap over the brim of the pelvis. It's caused by inflammation of the bursa that lies between the front of the hip joint and the iliopsoas muscle or tendon. Diagnosis is usually difficult. Ultrasound or MRI may be normal. It may reveal bursal fluid anterior to the hip joint. The iliopsoas tendon injection can be diagnostic. Abduction and external rotation of the hip and hearing the snap, the click, will help in the diagnosis. External type means outside type called iliotibial band syndrome. The iliotibial band is thickened and it snaps over the bony area of the greater trochanter of the femur. The patient may develop trochanteric bursitis, adhesions, gluteus maximus, inflammation, or edema. Diagnosis of iliotibial band syndrome. Direct palpation of the greater trochanter. Put the patient on the side, put the hip in extension, rotate the hip and feel the pop. The best clinical test is Ober's test. It assists the tightness of the iliotibial band. How do you do it? The patient will be on the side with the unaffected leg at the bottom. The examiner will abduct the leg and will extend the hip. The examiner will leave the leg of the patient lowered. If the test is positive, then the patient cannot abduct the leg past anatomic neutral. Because the IT band is tight, the knees of the patient will not come together. Intraarticular type it can be a hip joint labral tear or a loose body. Painful labral tears are other causes of snapping hip syndrome. In the labral tear, the patient will suffer from decreased range of motion and a painful click in the joint. The labrum is a black triangular structure and lateral to it you find the lateral recess. The dye can go there and it is normal, it is not a tear. When the dye is medial to that black triangular structure, then it is a tear. The MRI arthrogram is the best study to diagnose labral tear.